Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. In this episode here, sponsored by Banggood.com, we'll be reviewing the new Jimmu robot series from UB Tech Electronics. Now this here is the Explorer kit. Previously, we've already reviewed the Introduction kit, also known as the Muttbot Busbot kit, as well as the Inventor series, in which you can actually build your own elephant, as well as even a humanoid robot, and much more. Now, in this kit here, we'll be looking at the intermediate level, so more of like a middle grade level, which we can actually purchase for your very own from banggood.com in the link below. So before we go ahead and actually play with it, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. Alright, so this here is our Explorer kit, and just like previous series, you can have the option of building a variety of different robots. Uh, we have a T-Rex on the cover. You can also build the BuzzBot kit that we've previously seen. In addition, there's different animals including a penguin which we'll be building today. Now, this is rated for ages 8 and above. Uh, it comes with over 372 interlocking parts, a total of 7 different servos, a battery power adapter, as well as a quick start guide. Uh, on the back here, it kind of explains everything in the details. So it kind of explains about all the different parts and how they look. Uh, and then in addition, it does it inform you about the app that you can use, which allows you to build it. Uh, the app itself kind of designs it in a way where it has a 3D aspect of it, showing you exactly how to build the robot. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the contents. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. Now, just like previously, this actually has a very nice layout, identifying all the different components including parts, servos, main control unit, connectors, fasteners, and even the adapter. Now, over here, it kind of shows you all the different parts, and then just like a book, it kind of opens up and has a little bit more details in here, so you can actually see the different components of it. Now, this kind of shows you how everything kind of fits together, which is really neat. Uh, these are the different forms, including a dinosaur, a seal, a baby, and a parrot. Now, over here kind of explains how to assemble different parts. Uh, so, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at one of these boxes here. Now, these kind of just slide out like so, and then inside here include different components. So, let's go ahead and open this up. So, when you open these here, it kind of has everything identified in packets. So it's easier for you to build, uh, and then you just go ahead and follow the steps as needed. So with that being said, let's go ahead and build ourselves a penguin. Alright, so what we do first is we go ahead and open up the app. Now the app itself will actually uh, show you all the different robots you can build. So you click on model here, and then you find the particular robot that you're building. Now we want to build ourselves a penguin, so this is actually the same kit right here. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And then it's actually downloading the different, uh, the manual itself, as well as the components where you can actually control it using the action button, as well as configurations where you can make your own coding and actually create your own actions, which is really cool. So they have a lot of preset things instead of like juggling, swing, play. So it'll actually show you on the screen itself and it'll actually live feed on the character itself at the same time. Now let's go ahead and click on build. Now, when we click on build here, it'll actually show us step by step on how to build a penguin. So, in this case here, there's a total of 26 steps uh, in which we can go ahead and start from step one, uh, which includes building off the servo. You can actually even like rotate around the actual model itself in case you're getting a little confused. So, it really does make it very easy to build. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and start this and build ourselves a robotic penguin. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. Our penguin is finally completed and as you can tell it actually looks really cool. It actually does look like a penguin. It's really cute with his little bow tie. Um, it's got seven different servos, so each of its joints, uh, including two for the legs each, uh, one for the arms and then one for the head. Now uh, the way it kind of turns on is there's an on-off switch on the back and then here is the actual battery pack. 
So we're all set there, so let's put them right over here. And then I actually have the app ready to go as well. You can see right here, we have different uh, actions here. So this one's standby. Uh, then we can go ahead and try this out. So let's go ahead and tell our penguin to move forward. So it's got a lot of movement to it, which looks really cool. I love how he actually like moves his head and he actually literally looks like he's walking like a penguin. Now this is called juggling. <laughs> so no, we are having a live feed of it on the actual screen itself at the same time. Now this is called swing. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we'll try is called play, so let's go ahead and press that. It's got a lot of smooth movement to it, so it looks really cool. So then we can actually have him move left. And then, uh, of course, you can make him move right as well. Uh, this is called act cute. <laughs> uh, this is called happy. All right, so in addition to all this here, we can actually go ahead and look at the app itself. Now, note, there's different uh, features, including a controller feature, which allows you to actually program your own controller. So you can have them move forward, left, right. So if you want to have them do like certain actions, you can sequence it the way you want. Uh, there's a coding feature in here that allows you to create your own action using different uh, codes. So you can do different events, you can do um, sensors, uh, you can start off by different uh, functionalities, and then you can use math as well, like variables. So it's actually got a lot of customization to it, and it's a great learning tool. Now, if we go into actions again, we can actually click on new action in the bottom left. This actually gives us full control over the actual robot itself. So I can actually create my own action here and uh, adjust it and see it live. So I can actually control it myself that way. Now, I can save this and then I can actually add it to my action movements. Uh, so with that said, um, you can also record the feature as well. So you can actually click on the camera and then record the character while you play with them. All right, well there you have it. That was actually a lot of fun to build. Not to mention it wasn't really that complicated uh, compared to the actual inventor kit. So this is more of an intermediate or a mid-grade version of the actual kit itself. Now I really like the quality of this and UB Tech does a great job with their products. Um, I actually have all three over here, so it's actually very nice to see. Uh, and you can actually combine them all together and create your own robots as well. And you're always not just limited to what's on the box. Now, note, I actually have a lot more extra pieces left over, so I can always build my own robot and actually uh, create something very unique. But um, with that being said, I think it's actually a great product. I love the quality of it, and I think it's actually a very cute robot. Uh, I love how you can actually customize different features in the actual uh, app itself. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanted to purchase your very own, check out the link down below under banggood.com. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.